had a lot of struggles. How bad are they? 0-5, oh I think. 0-5 oh in all of 2022. Mm -hmm. Bala, that's that's not good. Yeah, and there was a stop against Le, Le Vietnam. Mm. Cruz staying in. <laughs> yeah, he's already got two picks, and the pistol round just continues to hurt right now. They flash through heaven and continue forward. Delzic doesn't even really know where they're coming from, and they regroup and take control of everything else. Look at Crashy's position this entire time, by the way. Ooh. Wait. He's taking Crashy's hurt him. Out. They hurt each other. <laughs> that kind of works out for Kesnit. Yay's weak, so this is certainly within reach. As Delzik's not able to convert the kill numbers in favor of Optic. Spike ticking away. Mazino trying to test the waters through tree. Maybe he can find an opener. Yes, he can. The second he does it, Mazino. It's all on to Ye. Oh, it's on to Ye, and it's not going to happen. It seemed like Optic had full control ball. What happened there? <laughs> yeah, it really did. I mean, the flank not going in favor of crashes there. The set up. Potentially. We've got the no command. All of these guys are not going to be a flash. Nothing to return. The paranoia, there it is. It swings out. Klaus gets the best of Ye. Mags is still playing up inside. There are so many targets to look at, but my goodness. Crew just mow over Optic. Yeah. Shot misses, and he gets tagged. Yeah. And Mags gets peppered. But the smoke there in time, and the KO nade as well. So Ye is isolated. Mazino gets the one. Optic managed to brute force their way through at least halfway up. What a dart as well from Mazzino for himself. Mard working his way back up mid, does find the kill, but everything is slowed down because of the Klaus no command. And Marved, sneaky son of a gun that he is, makes his way up mid. He tp it across, spawn. Mm -hmm. Did Mazzino hear him? Well, now he knows. Cover. Shots not landed and crash. He's falling there too. Doesn't help things. You see, Spike's gonna rotate over to A. <laughs> if Marv can continue to be a menace, it might be the opener that Optic needs. Wait, that's unbelievable. That smoke actually cut him off, so he wasn't able to get traded there. And finesse is now on the site. Marv in the last map. Remember the two versus five that he had with the A on the thrifty round. Okay. This time. Not again. Right. Look at the position, man. That's hard to clear. Yeah. They had alarm bot down, by the way. Kesnitz not in the round. So he got past that without anything. Another smoke going to be given potentially to help out FNS on the spike here. But he's low. FNS has to find something. He's got to find something down in hell. They know where he is. The blades don't land. Marv. He's gotten three. The smoke. Klaus on the tap. Trying to spam through. Oh my gosh, he's gotten it this far. Now Nags is so weak. Oh my gosh, Morph with the ace! But now he doesn't have yeah, that to exactly. actually use in the lockdown. Exactly. So Klaus, he's on the other side of the map. Nothing to actually use here. And Optic is regrouping towards this B side. That seems like a mistake. Yeah. Well, they're not in the site yet. Oh, okay, forget it. When you're landing shots like that, it <laughs> seems to work out, but... Ultimately, the lockdown was his demise. The slow, actually, from the Tour de Force slows it down so they can fight out the spawn. Look at Ye going aggressive with the op. The spike still hasn't made its way in, and Crew. He's turning tail. Marv's well, got the spawn. Look again. Exact same position that he was, and the exact same players as well, but this time only a two versus three. He's not expecting it. Oh, my goodness. He's not expecting it. Patience, <gasps> look at him. Oh no. No Just get way. Fire. One, two, oh, Nags, what a flick! So Marv got a little greedy there. Now Finesse is in this 1v2. Make it a 1v1, he's got a Spectre. Healthy. Spike on his side. As Mizzino drops down, he hears him, the tap, he spots the barrel, another clutch! I found my trap. Kept them in the game with that one versus one where he didn't go for the DP's push. Nice shot out from Kesnit. Take care of Crash. He's early on. Light buy from Crew in this round. Now the second trademark goes down. Optic trying to feel things out and see where they're where they can find some space. Nice flash. And there's space. Yeah, there's plenty of space right there. Three left on the side of Crew as Kesnit swings out at just the right spike time, manages to get the spike down. This could give him false sense of security, especially the way that Mizzino darts here. Oh. Nah, he's just, yep. Got tagged with the dart. He had no idea he was there. You were right. Now Marved again. 
It's been a headline up until this point. He's going to get a chance to do something special. Again, a 1v2, just going into two sheriffs here. So left. advantage arguably in his way, although he's outnumbered. Oh. Not able to land the shot. Ooh, he missed the jump. He's going hunting. He's going hunting. Smoke separating these two players. Smart plays this patiently. 15 seconds left. He's running out of time. He's oh. got to make a move, and he's going to do it now. Again, still just a sheriff for Nagzat. I don't know that he's got any utility either. No, he doesn't. So Marv, with six seconds left, commits to the plant. The swing out. The sheriff comes through for Nags as he's going to get the kill, upgrade a weapon, and get the defuse for crew. These rounds are just so close. As Nags get the defuse and goes five to three, Marv has an opportunity there too. Well, actually, very well. Could be the same amount. Oh, nice flash, uh, not though. The same type. Tried to play off the trademark. Crashes is dominates because the alarm button actually gives him false information. The flash as well. He's trying to swing wide on that. Crashes close to that angle. They also baited out yeah. Delzik's ult, so he's not going to be here to be able to help if they do decide to go back towards this and execute here. I wonder if that was intended to just be a bluff because they still had B control. They knew that they weren't out on B. Marv hadn't ulted. So I wonder if it was enough to try to lure them to rotate out. But no, Optic are patient and they fully commit to it. Nags on the switch. Yay takes him down. But Mazzino, Mazzino with three massive kills. He's just ult back over to there. Yeah. yeah. Crashes is covering that, by the way. Trying to find that rotator. Unbelievable. Spike planted. By the way, Kesnet lost, or Nags lost his knives in that position, so didn't have anything because of the knife. Oh, I thought Mark wanted to go aggressive. He's playing down in hell. He's been spotted out. Crashes with the drone, One trying to get some info. Remaining. The flash was there initially. Marv still down in hell. Keeping them back. Klaus swings it out, and Crashes cleans it up. His optic get the round. The half. Yay. Blade Storm, last round of the half. The only ultimate player for the attacking side. Uh, Klaus has his ultimate. You hear the Hunter Fury through. His kills get traded back and forth. Kesnet playing this tight angle. Nax with the Judge gets a kill. And he spots Marv as well. Knows that it was all a fake towards the A site. So crew can really take the time now to reposition. There's plenty of yeah. time for them to do that as well and get in good spots. And they still have Kesnet's utility everywhere. Patience, Nags. Marv will punish you. Oh, man. Judge on the other side. He's already got one. I'm just saying, if he shoulder peeks like he just did. Yeah. Nice knife from Victor. That spots. Oh, sorry, from Klaus. He has the ult as well to shut down. Smoke's coming down or a paranoia as well. Oh, he has a flash. But he chooses not to flash. And Victor falls. Crashes on the other side of the map. What's going on here? Really not contributing at all to Marv right now. They're just not biting, left. and they have so much as far as numbers go. Exit with three with the judge. Crashy's nowhere near the spike and ultimately falls on the other. But, yeah, that definitely feels a little bit like that. If there was ever a time moment for the judge. <laughs> Take flight. Uh, doesn't seem to be working out at least yet. Optic take care of the opener. Crew try to test the waters and get into A. And they've established some control. In a position to get the spike down. Mizuno's taking care of that. Now Optic have to fight for retake. Spike hasn't gone down yet, and they're all here. That knife just got three players on the site. This one way, though, very, very strong. Delzik just got another smoke up, so might be able to redo it. And all of this delay has allowed the door to go down, and now Optic can push a bit. More aggressively, so weak on the side of crew. Look at their health bars, and they start to fall. Crashies and Victor able to get one apiece. Just, it was too much. The delay was too much, Paula. Yeah, the rest of his team stepping up. Yeah, it doesn't have to be. Yeah, oh. absolutely. This was a problem for Ye in the series against Zersha. It's really oh, give and take cool. for him. A gift. It's not the same type of performance for Masters of Berlin where he was dominating in the first kill, first death ratio. He's still doing well. He's still being a solid entry fragger on both sides of the map. But Surf was taking advantage of him, and this time Delza, or Kesnet as well. Doing some work against him. So down a man again, Optic. Still good in these situations. Curry here with a very 
patient uh, approach to the round. One of the things that was pretty critical of with Crew was their attacking half seemed very one-dimensional, right? Sure. You just kind of were getting sure. the same thing with them. They like your group is five. They decide what site they're going to hit. No matter what happens, they hit it. Yeah. This is a oh. very different approach. Much more defaulty. Tries to punish Marv by himself again, though. And Optic's feeling this out. Crash has already fell all the way back. 30 seconds left. Yeah, it seems to be working out for him as Victor falls too. Crash, as you mentioned, fell back, back sight, and falls to his grave. His crew established control. You've got Marv down a flank. So perhaps if he hits the timing right, there's a little something they can do with this. Oh, tunnel. Okay. Okay, they heard they the heard TP. That. Yeah, I was going to say, surely you heard that. Right? They don't have a ton of time either, Bala. They're going to have to pull the trigger here pretty quickly. Oh, well, another TP out, but yeah, I mean, they already know what's happening. He's going to TP. No way. You menace. You menace! Cover going out. This is spammable. The tap. 1v2. Oh, the timing. The timing. <laughs> Dude, it was too good to be true. Pushing forward. Seems like they're going to rotate right out. The drone is again all the way around. Get some info. There's the blade storm! Dude. Yeah, he again falls early. Flashbang. Victor with the flash is swing out. Nothing doing. But again, potentially a false sense of security. His crew is still hanging out. They haven't left. There. How to crack this B split from Optic? Big question and crew. Are they going to expect a reposition from Victor into the site? Usually he's flashing through spawn. And the knife gets three people. The information is gathered. They know what's coming. Crashes and Victor falling all the way to the back site. And Mars still has a paranoia too. He could really fight with Victor. But he doesn't paranoia. He just swings out. Kills go back and forth as Marved with three. Crash, he's still back sight. Not able to take care of the kill. It's a 2v2 here. Finesse is going to show up a bit late as he was still trying to anchor down A. The spike not in tow for crew. They're going to have to mosey over and get it quick. And I don't know that it's happening. Kesnit in this 1v2. The reposition out for Marved. No time for the spike. Yes, get him. Yeah, Finesse just has to get out. He's got to run. Kesnit tries hunting. Two seconds left. Tux. To safety, tucks the solace behind that wall, and Optic tie us up at eight apiece. They actually knife him down, mm -hmm. which is definitely something that could happen if they spend a little time. One minute is going to be the timer when that knife comes up. So, another opening pick from Kazan on DA. The flash as well crashes a terrible position. They take the site. Marved, the big old fast on the B main flank. There's nothing there to actually spot. No trademarks except B main. So again, Marv is the linchpin for Optic here to keep them in this round. You want to play? Let's play. And Tour de Force come through as Marv repositions. Powerless. Holds out from class. How the heck did Optic get back in this one? This crew seemed to have quite the stranglehold on the site. They're saving the op. Victor's already picked it up and left from spawn where Ye wow. died. That is a statement. That is now three rounds in a row. Hmm? where Ye goes down first. And it's one of Nags or Kesnit taking that open in duel. And right now, it feels like they've got his number. Uh. Another rifle going down. No charges. For Optic, perhaps Marv can... That's big. That <laughs> <problems>. <laughs> From crew. This could be dangerous. If they spot Victor, he broke the... the Drone, that's important because if that got deeper, it might have spotted nobody in sight, but Nags will do the same job. So they've got it. Look at Kesnit, look at Kesnit against Elzik. Or Marved. Marved is big for optics, the shoulder's been peaked. Kesnit playing with fire, the paranoia hits him, he has to give the space Dude, up. Look he's at Marv, so crazy. Bro. Oh, but he doesn't land the shots, Kesnit's so weak. He's buying so much time right yeah, now. Yeah, he is. And look, reinforcement showing up. Shock dart, good stuff. Yeah, but it took two players to get that kill. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, the site has been lost. Mazzino in a place where they have to clear him. If they don't clear him, Nowhere to dangerous. he's actually ulting the Killjoy right now, so they know where he's at. The drone, though, crashes ops to go for it. So Marved has to win this fight. Mazzino alone. Tucked down. Finesse falls. Oh, you can see it. He wants to. He wants to swing out. Victor holding it. The Victor sticking oh! in. Delzik tries to swing around, but Victor. However, Finesse has swapped his utility over towards the safe site. This is huge. And Victor's got the no command as well. He could pop that at any moment and completely break up yeah. the push. 
Delzik has his ultimate. You wonder how long before he tries to... There's the ult. No command. Finesse already falls. They're not actually going here. No. They leave Mazzino as a <gasps> trap to get a kill, and he does. Yeah, but yeah, remember the op. He's looking heaven right now. There's two places he has to look. Here's him always paranoid. He has to drop down to hell. Nags up going hunting. He's so weak. But yeah, he gets a kill anyway. They know Marv's here. Eventually falls. Yes, it certainly seems like they do as Klaus is going to get the plant down. Wow. Look at Kesnik, knowing that this res is going to come through, knowing that they're going to pick up Victor after his no command. Really prove what they're worth. There's the old backside crashes, immediately deals with it. There's nobody to actually punish. But they're on with the B split. The paranoia out. Ness blinded. Victor. 30 Playing left. for back and spawn, so much information. The truth is, I don't know that they have time to rotate out the anyway. Spike. Yeah, Finesse gets a big one. And the spikes in no man's land. They're going to have to frag their way through. Optic. Victor with the flash. Control. Oh, the flash. She's gorgeous remains. swing. You mentioned Victor with the flash. It doesn't get much easier than that. Now, Kesnit is flashed up. 10 seconds left. Too many targets to look at. Optic take the lead back. An angle that you're used to seeing A play. It really just isn't. I wonder whether or not Crew choose to flirt with this one. Remember, they took care of, of the defenses that Optic had as far as the turret goes in mid. Here they come. 45 seconds left. They really can't pivot. They could go back up cat, but they haven't done any scouting in that direction. Klaus is going to pop his ult. You are powerless. Nice. Massive kill out from Ye. We've talked so much about his struggles in these instances, and that's two big kills. 30 seconds left. With the operator. Crew left in a difficult spot, truly a 5v3 as Ye gets another. Oh, oh my goodness. Four out from Ye, a prime gaming flawless as Optic seem to go for the jugular. And when Ye got that kill on the Nags, the first opening kill into market. And look at the buy from Crew. A couple of Spectres, a lot of Spectres, and Light Armor, but that's a great start from Nags. That's Marv, down. But everybody else from Optic has you been coming play, online. But the play. knife from Nags, Blade Storm, and... And the Turtle Force, yeah. That's how these guys are so hard to put down right now. That's why they want to play the Chamber. Check combination. And as much as they make noise at the opening of the round, you hear it comes to a screeching halt. Drone across the middle of the map from Crash used to make sure no one's pushing up that way. Crew deciding to reposition. They're going to go A. And they've got Killjoy utility. They have turrets. They have a three stack from Optic to deal with. Ness is reading this round just gorgeously. They have time. Look at how they've all rotated right now. They're actually leaning towards A, leaving Ye alone on the B site. Sure. Man down. Axe has to go. The knife. The it's going to get his knife away. He's got He's trying to get big with the blades, but he isn't able to land the shots. Nags and Mazzino fall. Three oh. left for Optic. It's just on to Kesnit. Kesnit with 45 HP and his ultimate tries to drop some fancy footwork to stay alive, but it's the.